So I want to show you a really quick and easy way to set up continuous controllers or just assign any of your controllers to Logic X. Obviously I've got Native Instruments Complete Control which is kind of designed to plug and play and be already mapped. Also this should work for any plug-in kind of USB keyboard as long as it's got you know the controllers to assign. Testing out a little bit Native Instruments here because I'm using a reactor ensemble that I got from the Native Instruments forum which is a really good place to get some free sounds. So you get a lot of kind of upcoming sound designers who are kind of making their first plugins and they kind of want you to beta test them or just have them for free. These ones are really good. So I like this sound because it sounds a bit like electricity, which is a lyric that I'm using. And it sounds really good with this cutoff. But it's really hard to kind of get anything kind of musical or rhythmic while trying to use a mouse. So you can see where I've selected the cutoff, it's turned red, the writing above it. So if I now go to just below preferences, control surfaces, and the top one, learn assignment for filter cutoff, you can see it's remembered the effect that I'd highlighted. So we click there and it brings up this window. We've got the easy view, the expert view, but the expert view does give us more information. So stick with that one. So at the top here, we've got that sound, the filter cutoff, no message received. So to send a message, we literally just touch the controller that we want to assign. Now that can obviously be the modulation wheel or the pitch. Basically anything, I just chose this one because it's easy for you to see. And then we can just hit learn mode, reassign, just in case it was assigned to something prior, it will reassign it for you. Close that window and now we should be able to play that sound. Also you can obviously assign something else, so if I hit resonance, follow the same path, control surfaces, it's remembered resonance. Again, remember to just touch a different assign control there, so learn mode, reassign, and you can now see I have both, Ooh, working. Yeah, and also you can record this in, well, using automation, so you don't actually hit record, you just go to your channel strip, where it says read, you switch it to latch, it turns a nice orange colour, and if I just play or record it in, let me show you. So if I now hit A on my keyboard, shortcut for automation, you can see I've got the automation from the cutoff in orange and I've got the other resonant filter as well. Make some little sharp turns there, but sound quite nice. But if you're having problems, everything else to do with setting up controllers is in this same little box here that we went to earlier. So um, setup will allow you to scan your system. You can see here, scan all models. And sometimes, quick tip, it doesn't come up with the exact make and model. Maybe I just haven't got the update or something, but in my case it came up with a Mackie control, but that worked. Obviously there's some the mapping going on there. So yeah, good luck. But if you get stuck, let me know and I can make another video on how to manually add a device as well. Anyway, I hope that helps. Have fun. Bye.